Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020. So let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April. Now your first card here is the Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion Capricorn, what's going on with you guys? Um, okay, so what they're saying is for some of you guys, uh, you're still dealing with a person that is very inconsistent in your life. Uh, this could be the person that you're currently with. Uh, for others of you, it could be dealing with the person from the past um, where there is like a breakup and then you come back and then there's a breakup and then you come back. Uh, what they're saying is you cannot change a person's personality or the way they are, Capricorn no matter how hard you try, okay? Now, I know this is a trait that naturally comes to Capricorns where you guys are like stick in the mud. You're just going to work it out no matter what. Um, unfortunately, I feel that if you continuously keep putting effort towards this situation, you're going to come up empty-handed or being feeling defeated, feeling like you've wasted your time again because you're putting a lot of energy into fixing this connection, but this person is really unsure of what they want. Now, for others of you, you may be dealing with a lot of confusion in regards to fears. So I see a lot of water uh, being a bit emotional Capricorn, uh, perhaps with the uncertainties of what's going on right now. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be scared in some shape, way, or form in regards to your stability, in regards to your job, in regards to uh, pretty much all the responsibilities that you carry Capricorn. Now, the obstacle here is the two of swords. Um, not wanting to see things for what they are. We go back to that of those of you guys that are dealing with an ex-partner or a person that you may still be trying to fix the relationship. You need to see things for what they really are, Capricorn. Uh, it's almost like you are refusing to accept them how they are. And it's like you're hoping and wanting them to change or to prove to you something that they still have yet to prove. So again, you are mentally, uh, mentally being stuck or forcing yourself to be stuck because you're not being able to move on or to, you know, heal through this process for some of you guys because you refuse to do so you refuse to let go um so again a lot of my suggestion would be if you guys are currently dealing with this type of energy let things unfold the way they're supposed to there's no point in you stressing or worrying about what's to come you know let things happen organically sooner than later you will come to terms uh with seeing things clearly or concisely and being able to say, okay, enough is enough. I'm no longer going to be um, a doormat for anyone. And it's, you know, either I'm a priority or I'm not. But if I'm not, I'm walking away. Okay. Now you have the Knight of Wands. Um, Knight of Wands could signify, again, want. for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Fire Energy, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, I also do see Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and you have the Judgment card. So I see you guys, you guys rushed into uh, trying to fix the situation or trying to make things work, um, but you will be making a choice in April, Capricorn, and I think that based on this, yeah, uh, the Six of Swords is symbolizing being able to move on. Uh, you're tired of putting the effort, you're tired of really... Um, putting all you got to make it happen uh, with no rewards, with no, this has been a long journey for some of you guys. Now, for others of you uh, that are currently dealing with uncertainty in regards to your finances or in regards to your job, pretty much all responsibilities that you're currently dealing with, uh, the Knight of Wands is signifying uh, there's going to be some opportunities that are going to be opening up for you. You do have two Knights here. Uh, so this is very quick movement. Now, the Knight of Pentacles here is what they're saying is when those opportunities arise, uh, Capricorn, you need to not hesitate too much or take too, too much uh, time making up your mind because there's going to be a bit of a window for you guys to make a decision 
to be able to move forward. And once you make that decision, things will start to evolve in a positive way for you. But that time frame, that window that they're showing me uh, could signify uh, that you don't take that opportunity and you decide to either go back to this person um, or want to fix this relationship again. And you're going to be very kicking yourself in the butt because other things are going to unfold around you where there's going to be a feeling like I totally effed up or I totally missed that window, you know, missed that opportunity. So be careful with that. Eight of swords signifies um, a lot of emotional, carrying a lot of emotional baggage, Capricorn. Um, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling a bit helpless in this situation. Um, now, for some of you guys, like I said, you may be dealing with the fire energy. Now, if you are dealing with air energy, um, air energy or even earth energy, um, there may be an Aries person around you uh, or a person that you see almost as an Aries energy, a person that is very confident, a person that is very self-made. Um, I feel that there may be some type of intimidation, but there is a desire there. And I see them looking at you, Capricorn, like they've taken notice. Um, but at the same time, they're very vigilant. They're very vi vigilant and they don't want to put like pretty much their heart on a platter uh, because you, you could be a bit intimidating to them. So again, stop dealing with exes, Capricorn is what they're saying. Move on because if you don't, you're going to be dealing with the same type of energy and feeling like, you know, life is just so, it's, it's so boring. It's not unfolding for you. And the reason for that is because you're refusing to make changes. If you're dealing with an Aries or an Aries energy that is around you, this is definitely good energy for you. Um, this is definitely a good energy for you. And I do see them very interested in you, Capricorn. But again, I think that they're a bit intimidated by you. So all you really need to do is wink your eye uh, to let them know you're interested. Because I see them very confident, um, very blunt, very outgoing, uh, very amazing energy. And that energy usually reminds me of an Aries person or personality. Um, but at the same time, I, I do see, see the ego here. I see them like very vigilant looking towards you and what you're doing, um, but not making a move necessarily. And it could be because there's fear or some type of intimidation. Uh, it could be that they very well know that you're dealing with an ex-partner or that you're currently in a relationship. So they're just keeping an eye to see uh, when that window of opportunity comes up. Now, you also have the sun card here. So the sun card is blessings, blessings, new opportunities, or the universe bringing to you or aligning to you a specific person that is more ideal to you. Now, I also have the death card. Wow. So we have the sun and the death card. For those of you guys that are still dealing with exes, there is coming a conclusion. An ending will occur in the month of April. And what they're saying is, should you embrace this new change, you're going into a connection with someone that is going to be very long-term for you, even marriage. Um, yeah, so they're saying th this this person could be the person you've been waiting for, Capricorn. Now, uh, should you refuse uh, to move on or to let go of past relationships or people that you've dealt with in the past that are very unstable, um, what they're saying is that these opportunities that are aligning for you will quickly um, be, again, kind of you taking it for granted and later on dealing with the same type of situation where you're left feeling stuck, left feeling like you're unsure, you don't know what destiny has in store for you. There's fear of, I see a lot of fear of changes for you Capricorns. Um, okay, so what they're saying here is for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, and the worry that is like over your shoulders basically constantly could be financial stability. Now, what they're saying here is that you've put yourself in a mental state of mind where 
you're kind of quickly jumping from one conclusion to another thinking negatively. And what they're saying is you need to stop negative, especially self-negative talk. Um, you need to stop doubting yourself, Capricorn. Unfortunately, sometimes changes happen. That's life. It's necessary. I know we don't like it. Um, I myself don't like it. <laughs> but we have to embrace that. Why? Because it's taking us to a new face in our lives with blessings, with opportunities and new beginnings. And that's definitely what we want. We want growth, Capricorn. So snap out of it. Stop doubting yourself too much. And let go of whatever's not serving you. Stop wasting your damn time. Your precious time, I should say. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.